Hola, my name is Maria, and welcome to my little corner on the internet. It's time to spill the beans on weight loss and diabetes. <sighs> Making changes was really, really hard for me. A few years ago, I saw a lot of stuff about how diabetes could be cured by uh, becoming a vegan. It was more than a few years ago, actually, now that I think about it. And I tried it. Tried to go raw vegan. And after three months, I couldn't take it. I couldn't do it. There was no way. Making the changes I needed to make in order to do that were uh, felt insurmountable at the time. I couldn't quite grasp the connection between food and health. I knew I had a problem and I viewed this as a possible solution. And for many, it has been a very good solution, but really there's no guarantee it's gonna work for you. So I wanted to make it very clear for those of you who have seen some of my videos that it may sound like, wow, I become vegan. I will be able to lose all my weight and get healthy. And that might not be the case for you. It has been a miracle for me, but I took it very, very slowly and I didn't have to make all of these changes at once in order to see results. Me becoming vegan was more, it was like it evolved into becoming vegan. It started off with just eating healthier, looking at what I was doing and how I could improve. I couldn't do it all at once. I know there are people who can. They come up here and they say, I changed overnight, I got healthy in a few months, and ta-da. That wasn't the case for me. <laughs> it took me about three years to get off the insulin. I did not just go vegan and come off my medication, no. And I did have help from my doctor, who understood that I was making changes in my life so that I could get better. So I just want you to be realistic about this, about seeing what I've done. It has been a miracle for me. I'm not on any medication. I've lost almost 200 pounds, but I didn't do it in such a way that it was overnight. It wasn't super quick. I made very, very slow changes because that's what I could handle. And so I just want to let you know, up hand, uh, you know, just beforehand, that that's the way it has been for me. And to give hope to those of you who are not the kind of people that can just change overnight. Because not everyone can. Not everyone can. Especially if you have family, you have a job, you have all this stuff going on. And then of course the added pressure. But I will say that it is important to take the matter seriously if you are having weight loss and you are diabetic. And there is a connection between, you know, food and health. For me, it started off very, very slowly one thing at a time, to be honest. For example, let's take out the sodas this time. Get used to that. Find other replacements. And then it was like, okay, let's stop. Let's stop eating meat, you know, for breakfast. Let's find other alternatives and get used to that. And so it was through a very slow process that I was able to go from a very unhealthy lifestyle because I was eating a lot of um, a lot of processed foods, um, a lot of animal products. Uh, it was through a slow process 
that I was able to make changes and honestly, just a few changes, I immediately saw results and that sort of encouraged me to continue. Whereas when I tried to make the changes all at once and I failed, I felt horrible. So for me, taking little baby steps to improve my health has been, um, has been the way I've been able to do it. I, I just couldn't do it all at once. And I know there are people out there who, who look at my diet and they might feel a little bit intimidated because they're just like, oh, I just can't give up this and I just can't give up that. And I used to be one of those people. I was like that. I, I never thought I would be able to give up meat completely. I never thought I would be able to give up cheese completely. Um, I never thought I would be able to give up so many of the things that today I, I don't even consider touching. And it was slow, but I was persistent, consistent, and here I am. I think of myself as the turtle in the race. If you remember the story of the rabbit and the turtle, where the turtle was slow and steady, but he got there. Whenever I've tried to rush weight loss or rush healing or rush anything, it just set me up for failure. That's my experience. But going at it slowly, making one change at a time, all of a sudden, here I am. I am vegan. I'm gluten-free. <laughs> I'm um, a lot healthier. I don't take diabetic medication. I, um, I'm almost 200 pounds weight loss. I got weight today. I lost two pounds. I'm at 161, so I'm very, very happy about mm. that. And my life gets better. But it took time. And nobody likes to hear that because everybody wants the quick weight loss solution. And I get it. I get it. I was there. And I tried a lot of so-called quick weight loss solutions. And it just set me up for failure. Because then the diet was more of a, that's only for now. Eventually, the diet ended and I'd be doing the same thing again. So making the changes slowly, consistently, persistently has yielded results beyond my wildest imagination. Having been a diabetic for over 10 years, I never thought I'd be giving up my medication. I was told that I would basically be on it for the rest of my life. That doesn't mean that if you go through the same process that you will have the same results, but I pray that you do. I hope you do. I can't tell you what to eat. I can't tell you how to do it. Each person is different. I had to look at my life and see how I could change my life to support uh, the new changes. And sometimes it was easy and sometimes it was really hard. But I kept at it. Like the turtle. Slow but steady. I got there. I'm here. I'm still losing weight. And I'm healthier than I've ever been in my whole life. And so I do want to give you some hope that it's possible but I also want to be realistic about it because I know anybody looking at my before and after photos might sit there and go, wow, that didn't take much time. It did take time, a lot of time. <laughs> it was not a quick fix. If I wanted quick fix, I probably would have gone with bariatric, but I chickened out both times. Here I am. I'm a lot better. I've addressed a lot of the issues that kept me in a self-sabotage mode where I would start a diet and then I would fail and then I would go back to yo-yoing. I have changed the way I eat, the way I cook, the way I live. I exercise, 
I eat right. At least for my body, I eat right. I am not um, extreme in any way. I do have to be very careful about what I eat because I have had some serious health issues. So I'm probably more careful about what I eat than most people. This works for me. I hope you give it a try. I hope that um, you start making changes in your life and give them time. When I started becoming um, healthier and I started making the changes, I had to give it time. When I started coming off the insulin, I had to give my body time before I would lower again. And I didn't do it alone. I made sure that my doctor helped me. It was amazing when I was finally able to get off. And I look back and go, wow, that was quite a journey. So I encourage you all to take it, but be smart about it. Don't uh, go doing anything extreme where you suddenly stop taking your medications or um, make changes without really discussing it with a, a doctor or nutritionist. I had people behind me that helped me. I couldn't have done it alone. And I hope that you continue to watch these videos and subscribe and I'll talk more about my experience and maybe you'll find something useful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.